Okay. Cool. Hi, my name is Tanner. I am... <sighs> um... My name is Tanner, I have a big forehead. How to be genuine. How does one do it? Uh, okay. Hi, my name is Tanner. Today is my first day out of hopefully many where I am going to be vlogging. Last night I pulled out my journal and I wrote down everything that I wanted to do and be um, because people tell you that you need to focus on one thing and be this, be this one thing. And um, I know like I feel crazy for wanting all this stuff and wanting to be all this stuff. Um, so I wrote it all down and I was asking myself, how can I do slash be so many things? Must I have to focus on one? Can I do it all? I think the answer to this is radical determination. I think I, I wrote, how can I stop giving a fuck and have radical determination? Meaning, how can I see the, like all of these end goals, hear everyone telling me that I can't do all of them? How can I stop giving a fuck, ignore all that, and just do it? I feel so um, limited by like one track minds like obvious obviously I want to follow one track and end at being this creative like being an artist that's what I am you know it's not just a dream it's a goal it's it's an obsession of mine that's what I want um this is a vow that I wrote to myself yesterday starting tomorrow I will post a video every single day for a month straight 30 days I'm going to check back in in 30 days and see if this is something that I want to do and something that is good for me and something that feeds my soul. Um, this is the start to the first video. Let's see how my day goes. Um, yeah. As I'm on my way to this interview, I'm thinking about a couple of things that this could be beneficial for. Recording my life every single day puts me under a lens. Um, therefore, puts me under the scrutiny of the public. Puts me under the scrutiny of the internet, which is worse than the public or the idea of the public or whatever. It has a chance to completely uh, destroy me, terrify me, but it also has the opportunity to make me think about how I live my life. So it has the chances to make me a better person. Um, and I'm really hoping with everything that I do that that's what it does. And brings more positive energy to the world around me. I don't wanna blow smoke. And I don't, I don't wanna just breathe hot air into the room when I say that I want to be all of these things and I'm going to be all of these things and I'm going to do all of these things. And there's nobody that can tell me, oh, you're too, uh, you don't have the money for that. You don't have the connections for that. You don't have, oh, you're not ready yet. Who is anybody to tell you as an artist that you're ready for your craft? Go out there and make something right now. I'm not a motivational speaker. But that's how I think. If Nobody can tell you no. Nobody can tell you... When you say you want to follow your dreams, nobody can tell you no. Follow your dreams, make them goals, obsess over them, make them happen. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> this is my... Favorite coffee shop. Oh shit. Kimsey's Coffee. Look at that little cottage. Okay, so I just spent an entire like two and a half hours talking about story and The Last of Us and the boys and D&D &D and Batman. And it was really uh, 
awesome to meet with somebody who is on the same page as far as like stories that inspire me as an artist and stories that um, uh, uh, the kind of stories I want to tell. Um, this guy Thomas is going to be a guest on my D&D podcast um, where I'm the DM and he's the player. There's actually like a little world that he was like, I really want to explore this and this relationship between these characters and um, this really fits with the kind of story that we're telling. I don't really bring it up with a lot of people, but I think this might be a good opportunity to explore. And I was like, hell yes. So we're going to take that and then um, I'm going to let it inspire some stuff. Um, uh, basically take that world and simplify it down a little bit. Um, honor the story of that world and those characters and the relationship and um, uh, see if I can uh, write a little blurb about the world, um, see how he likes it, um, the kind of character he wants to play and um, uh, go ahead from there. Uh, it's gonna be super awesome. I'm super excited. Next, I'm on my way home. I've got a free class that I'm gonna take advantage of. And then, and then I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriend. So, it's like 16 minutes into this class and there's like a passcode you need to get in, but I'm definitely late at this point. Um, yeah, I'm just floating in uncertainty at the moment. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I am in my closet right now. I have treated this room to be as soundproof as possible. Um, I can't help it that the walls are as thin as paper. Um, but I can put these pads up. Um, and I'm probably gonna put more up. This goes a little taller and it like... See, you can see that imperfection up there, warts and all, look at this. And next to me, my clothes are hanging up. That's great. I just recorded a TikTok, which I've been trying to do more of. So that's checked one of those things off for the day. Um, I wanna do one of those a day, um, whatever it is. Um, it can be stupid, it can be like informational, it can be like creative, it can be whatever I want it to be. Um, just as long as I'm posting. Um, and it's not empty content. <laughs> um, I also want to submit one voiceover audition a day. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. Okay, I found something that I think will be good. It's a paid role, and it's for a fantasy game. So I can... I'm auditioning for Dias. Okay, the character is pretty crude. This role isn't for everyone. You may want to read the voice line spreadsheet below. Here's an example clip. I am not asking you to imitate this. It's just something I thought illustrated what I was looking for. It's not in English as well. The ability to go in and out of that gritty voice would especially be a plus. So let's let's see what this is. Alright, these voice lines are in English. Uh that he's provided. So I'm just gonna... Okay. Tanner Hudson. Don't threaten me with a good time. Don't expect me to cover your ass. This can only end four ways. I am killing it. Sucks to be you. Oh, I'll steal the stars out of the sky, girl. Demon sight! Ooh, demon sight. Demon sight! Let's try it. Let's go full. Let's go full on with that one. Demon sight! Demon sight! That's a completely different character, but it might, might call for it. Okay, this one, he's dying. <laughs> Sounding a little interesting. Ah! 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 It's more of like a stabbing. Let me do like a energy being sucked, like the life force is being sucked out of him. Like, ah! 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 
All right, we got a lot of grunting. This one is just slashing a sword. Ha! 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 Three good options there. Okay, let's submit it. Now I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble. Um, just sit in their cafe with my girlfriend and work on some writing stuff, journal a little bit, um, revel in the success of today. I got um, a good amount of things done that I wanted to, but there's still work to be done. Dang. You wanna know something I started doing? Hmm. I started vlogging. Why are you vlogging this? I'm just capturing life's precious moments. <laughs> yeah? Us walking up to Barnes & Noble is a precious moment. Stop looking so self-conscious. Just relax. Okay. Perform. You're happy. You're happy. Happy. Exciting. The audience wants... They want joy. They want... We're going to Barnes & Noble! They want something crazy. Barnes & Bleh books. I just came to enjoy my night. Barnes & Bleh. Now I'm headed home. And... Last couple of things I'm going to do for the day are edit this vlog. Um edit this first vlog, figure out a name for it, get it posted, and then hopefully get some sleep. All right, peace.